good morning. This is a short video. I am um, setting up dressing the loom and I'm using a different method. I pre-rolled and pre-measured these. So there's all 230 feet of warp on each one and there's 12. And the reason I chose 12 because I'm using a six dent reed in here. So there's six of these spaces per inch and it is two inches between here and there. Therefore, 12 fits nicely right into there. So we go 12 all the way across. That should equal, I don't see my numbers. I think it was 273. I don't even know where I wrote down the my math. 276, there it is. Because there's 23 of those spaces in between there. There's 23 of those across and I'm using uh, 12 ends for each one of those spaces, so that's 276. So I, if you do the math, you'll find that my numbers are a little bit longer. So this is actually 230 feet. That's more than enough. That way it gives me 10, um, 10 feet worth of warp per strand, which I don't need any nine. I just want to make sure I have enough. This is cotton. So when I'm done, I'll come right back. All right, here's the last roll. Um, just ran out of one spool. Looks like everyone's gonna make it. Some of them are a little bit longer than others. I'm not sure <clears throat> what happened there, but that's okay. It made it, that's the important part. And you can see we've got several down. Those are 200 feet each. So it's not bad. Let's finish off this last little section here. Look at that. That's all that's left. That one. The rest of these are fairly the same, so that's good. This one was probably short. That's okay. That's where they should have looked like. I should add about um, 30 feet on each one. So, not bad. 
So there we go. Now it's time to just warp all this up or to get it all up into the pedals. So I need to see the best way of doing that to keep the strings from getting tangled. And once we get to the head holes, we'll then slide the reed. And then we're pretty much it. So quick video today, just to show you what I've been doing, but uh, it looks pretty good. We'll see what it looks like. Look for the next video later. God bless. Hey, I thought I would come in and show you this little part here. So this is the dressing the loom now. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually threading the heddles and slaying the reed at the same time. But I've also color coded my bars, black, red, blue, and white. And what that does is as I'm going across, I can just go black, red, blue, white, black, red, blue, white, and not forget. I've also done the same down there. So what I'm um, setting up or tying, making my tie ups, it's easier to know where I'm at and don't get lost. So let me see if I can set this up so I can show you what I'm doing. So there you go. I do them in sets of 12s. So that's 12, 12, and 12. This one is six because it's divided by the bar. And then we go back to six, and then 12, 12 all the way down. So you know you if you've made a mistake because I always end on this side on the red. So if I end on something else, that means I've skipped something. So, or there's a missing chord, but we know there's 12 all in here. So everything back there, is 12, 12 strands. So that's it for now. Um, I'll make the next part a separate video of me. Uh, let's see, what would I be doing? I'll be tying the ends to the uh, warp bar, cloth bar, sorry. And start weaving, I think, because everything else is ready to go. This is really nice to be able to thread heddles and slay the reed at the same time because once you're done you're done you know you don't have to go through this and then go back through it again if you're doing it all in one set so i'll have to see if i can do this one the same way and there's a piece i'm working on there not sure if i showed that earlier if not i'll edit this out <laughs>